our fingers and our hands are connected to the brain. And so this next exercise is a little challenging. It's called brain yoga. Okay? It's called brain yoga. All right, so I want you to put out your right fist. Make a little fist here and put your thumb out on that fist. Perfect. Now take your left hand and put your pinky out. Perfect. Now what I want to have happen, I want to switch the two, okay? So if you have one thumb up, one pinky out, I want you to switch. So make the right hand thumb go in, left pinky go out, left hand, thumb go up. Now you look like this, so you switch. Can you guys do that, switching back and forth? So it looks like this. Thumb, pinky, now switch. This goes out at the same time. That's hard, right? <laughs> on the opposite, and then switching the two, back and forth. That's another way to train your brain. Every one of these exercises is meant to activate areas of the brain that you're not using as often. And this is something simple that you can do at home, in your own room, five to 10 minutes a day, giving your brain a mental workout using the bilateral connections that we don't use as often, okay? You guys want, we got time for a couple more? Mm -hmm. one, one more, let's do one more. Okay, let's see. This one's really simple. Okay, so with the fingertip of your thumb, so take your thumb, you're gonna just press down, and so put your thumb at the very back part of this finger here, the index finger, so it kind of should look like this. Kind of like you're pressing down like that, there you go, and hold that finger out. There you go. Now go through each one of your fingers and just press down, kind of like you're cracking your knuckles, but keep your finger extended, applying a little pressure. There you go. And then you switch hands and do the same type of exercise doing this motion. And the reason why these things may seem um, simple, but yet they're very effective, is because of the nerve endings in our fingers. With repetition and with practice and time, this will help awaken your brain. So I do recommend you guys can start your day with some type of fingertip exercise. Pick one or two, just go through it, and especially the brain yoga one. Practice that and see if it gets easier to do. Okay, so just remember guys, your brain is a muscle. Anything that you guys can do to exercise and improve your mental performance, make sure it's always about activating areas of your brain. We are here on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 107. If you guys have any questions about mental fitness, biofeedback, or brain training, please don't hesitate to come see us. Thank you guys for your time.